Welcome to the CQC video tutorial series. This is video 9, IR Driven Commands. Though we've been concentrating quite a bit on the user interface as a user input mechanism for CQC, there are other options as well. And one of those is the use of an IR remote control to trigger CQC to do something. And though I say IR, it also uh, applies to uh, incoming signals over TCP IP or a serial port as well and HTTP as well. So there are a number of ways to do it. We'll be doing IR today. So the first thing you have to do is install the appropriate driver. And in my case, I'm going to be using a UIART, which is just a small uh, IR device. And if I right click on my machine here that I am hosting my drivers on and do add driver, and I'm going to pick in the category IR and this one is a combo. It does both learning and blasting and receiving. And that is it down there. It's the only one of that sort. And I'll just call it UIART. And it doesn't have any options because it's this it uses a driver and it knows how to find that driver on its own. And that should show up here. And it does. And now, um, instead of double clicking on it, which we've done quite a number of times in other videos, in this case, this one has a client side user interface. Some of them have fairly uh, complex configuration interfaces that they need, and it would be tedious to do it by files and that sort of thing. So what you would want to do in those cases is right click on it. And if it has one, it will have the client interface option enabled and it will load it here. And what this does, in this case, since this one handles both blasting and receiving, it has two tabs. It may only have one for the specific type of functionality it provides. We'll look at blasting later, but for now we're going to do receiving. And this is how you train CQC to react to an IR command. And it's quite simple. And it would work the same way for any other device of this sort. So let's just hit new to create a new action. And I'll just call this one, say, um, uh, kitchen... lights off. And as we've done before, uh, this is the standard action editor and we've done very similar things before. I'm just going to do command devices field right, which is how we write to a device field. And I will select one of the kitchen lights. So we'll say um, kitchen table and we'll set that to off. And I'll just copy that and paste it and do the other kitchen light. And now once we save that, what's going to happen is it's going to pop up a training dialog. And at that point, I am going to press the button on my remote control that I want to train. And I'll do it a few times until CQC sees a consistent signal that it knows it's got the right thing. And then it will close the dialog. And it's got it. And now let's just see here if that worked. So I will go to the lighting driver and I will find those two. Uh, lights and I'll turn them on wait did I say off or on I can't remember lights off so hopefully I selected the right um, value in the field there and the other one is the kitchen table and we will turn that one on so now those two are on and if I hit the remote control button that I just did it turned them off so that worked so it's basically that easy. Just train them in. Uh, you can go back and re-edit at any time. When you hit the edit button, it will let you edit the action. And then when you close, since it's an existing command, it will say, do you want to retrain this or do you want to just edit the action? So you have the option of editing the action, but retaining the training information. And I'll have to do that again. Or you can retrain it for another button if you would like to as well. So that's all, you know, it's very easy to do. No, And in fact, if you wanted to just retrain it, just hit cancel as I did there and don't change the action and it will also still give you the option to to retrain if you would like to. So that's it. Um, very easy to do. Just set up any actions that you would like. Of course, uh, there are various ways that you might want to uh, structure these so that they um, have some sort of meaningful names that you can remember later and that sort of thing. And of course, you also need to have the remote control in some way be able to to be labeled probably so that these um, so that the buttons make sense in terms of what they're doing. Of course, if it's a smart type of remote control, it might have the ability to have a touch screen on it or something like that, which can make this sort of thing a lot easier. 
one very common way to use this is with something like an RTI RP6 system, which sends actually serial commands that you can program into the remote controls or actually program them into, I think, the base unit. And then the remote control buttons, which are soft buttons that you can label, will tell the, the central station to send out a particular serial command. And CQC can be trained on that in a very similar way. You just use a different driver. So there you go. That is a basically triggered actions that you can configure to do whatever you would like.